But when it comes to hot dogs, it's always better to have your own buns. And I mean most amazing potato buns, which will shoot your dogs straight to the sky, okay? Okay. Well, some people say it's just a hot dog. Just a hot dog, huh? Hey? But I don't think so. I mean, there are hot dogs and hot dogs. Yeah? And I strongly urge you to take your time and make these, especially if you are expecting some company or barbecue. And it don't stop just with hot dogs. It goes perfectly well with lobster rolls, french rolls, sandwich rolls, or just like that with butter and jam. So let's jump straight down the business. We're gonna start with heating 10.8 ounces. That's 320 liters of whole fat milk. You wanna heat it until roughly 35 grades Celsius. Then just add one tablespoon or 16 grams of instant yeast and two teaspoons or 10 grams of cane sugar. Then grab your whisker and mix all well together and then you just want to cover it up and let that rest for 10 minutes. Now get yourself a large bowl and add 14.1 ounces or 400 grams of all-purpose wheat flour and just follow with 3.2 ounces or 90 grams of dried potato, 2 teaspoons or 10 grams of cane sugar and then just 2 teaspoons or 10 grams of sea salt. Guys, don't you forget to drink lots of water, especially in the kitchen. Thank you! Meanwhile, let's have a look what baby is it cooking in the corner. I'm sure it's something absolutely delicious. Co to je sír? Co to bude dobrýho? Jímo, bude hotový. Nikdo? A pro koho to bude? Pro mámo to bude. Let's continue with our favorite whisker and just mix all well together. At this point, the milk should get foamy with bubbles on the surface. So we just lightly stir it and make sure there's nothing left in the pot. Then we continue with three quarters of whole egg following with our milk. Just make sure you distribute it evenly. Then grab your spatula and lightly stir the mixture. You just want to combine it well at this point. When it's done, just grab 2.1 ounces or 60 grams of room temperature European style or Irish butter. It should have at least 82% of fat. Then just grab your plastic trowel and carefully smear the butter into the dough like this. Push the edges into the middle for one minute and then just cover that with the plastic wrap and kitchen towel. We will let that rest for 30 minutes. Then just whisper your magic formula and dance your proof dance so the dough gets everything it needs. Okay? After 30 minutes, just carefully pull the dough out of the bowl and let's take care of it in the next phase. Now you just need to push the dough flat. And then just fold it over repeatedly until the dough gets smoother, roughly for three minutes. Just make sure to incorporate all the leftover flour in this phase and don't add any extra flour. Just be patient. If the dough sticks too much, wait for five minutes and then continue. When the dough gets firm, you just need to smash and push the dough against the work desk for five minutes. Just repeat after me. Nothing complicated. This is the most crucial part of the recipe, guys. Don't mess it up. Don't add any extra flour. Take your time. This is where your buns get their fluffiness and smoothiness. Thanks to the potatoes, the dough will get really firm at this point. So just increase the pressure of pushing a little bit and use your fingers as well. We need to activate the gluten here. Continue for another extra five minutes. As you can see, the dough is really beautiful at this point. And that's exactly what we are looking for here. So just form a nice bowl and ready a clean bowl. We will let it proof until doubled in size. Should take 90 minutes or two hours roughly. Just don't forget to cover that again with the plastic wrap and the kitchen towel. You just need to control your dough. When it's doubled in size, immediately pull it out. Now again, dance your proof prayers and let's check something else. Our Isabella, Isabella. invented an interesting interesting way to enjoy grapes. Let's have a look. So she takes precisely one grape and then she carefully rolls it between her hands before actually eating it. And again, just one grape and roll. It almost looks like pushing and rolling a lemon or lime before squeezing it to get more juice out of it. So that's the best way to enjoy your grapes, guys. Meanwhile, our dough is ready. So let's get moving forward. You just need to pull the dough out. Give it two or three stretches and folds here. Just don't stretch it too heavily, guys. You don't want to see any cracks on your dough here. Then just form a rough rectangle and divide your dough into four exact pieces. Now, if you want to make same exact buns, you just need to use your scale here. I'm just simply dividing my dough here into four equal bumps. In the next step, you will get your roller and repeat after me. Roll the dough into a large rectangle and then just fold it over like this. Then lightly roll it again for desired length here, which is roughly 6 inches or 16 centimeters. Then turn it 90 degrees and carefully roll the bun like this. Just take your time and roll it firmly. Don't forget to carefully seal the bun when it's rolled. Otherwise, it will open up and you will just destroy your buns. Now, I have tried to form these buns just with my hands and it works just fine. So if you want to skip this step, go ahead and basically shape your buns without all the rolling and folding. Now you have two options. Either you put your buns just like this on a tray or, which I will strongly recommend here, you will lay those in a baking foil. Just don't forget to oil the baking foil, right? Just few drops is enough. The process is exactly the same. Our baking foil holds two buns, each roughly 8 plus ounces or 240 grams. Now don't you forget to make your buns a little bigger if your baking foil is larger than ours. Otherwise, your pastry won't be puffy as ours in the end. Now once again, cover your buns with a plastic wrap and kitchen towel and let it 
rest for 90 minutes or until doubled in size and puffy. Now, do you want to see your giraffe? Yeah, What do you see my giraffe? Obrovská. Tak pojď. Obrovská. Now after you deal with the giraffe, you just need to carefully remove the plastic wrap and smear your buns with the milk egg wash. Just add one quarter of whole egg and one tablespoon of milk. Mix well. Just repeat this process two times while baking your bun, so you will get that nice golden brown color. So, it's completely cooled off now, so again, I don't have to worry. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! Ah, fluffy! I, I broke it already! <laughs> Look, it's fluffy. I don't want to push like it too it. much, so I don't want to destroy it, yeah? But it's... Ah, it's fragrant. I can almost instantly smell the tomato... Uh, toma <laughs> I can almost instantly smell the potatoes, yeah? It's, ah, gorgeous. Ooh, Ooh, beautiful. So, now you know how to make these amazing potato buns to enjoy your hot dogs even better. Yeah? So if you like the buns, push the like button. It helps us to spread the video to other people who might be interested to know how to make these amazing buns. Okay? In the next video, we will show you amazing hot dogs featuring these buns. So, until the next video, ciao! 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 ciao.